The holidays are here and it feels like December is just flying by, but there is still some time to use this festive season to educate and to educate in a fun way. And here to do that with us, we're here with Dr. Craig Douglas. Good morning, Dr. Good morning. Douglas. Good morning. It's good to be here. So we're talking about, you know, possibly educating during yeah. the holiday season. We don't want to think of like a sit in a desk classroom setting. Right. So let's talk a little bit about how we can connect the holiday season with learning. Right, well first, uh, credit to Trish Lewis. Great topic suggested with the time of the year that we're in. We're like three days away from a lot of holiday breaks mm -hmm. beginning to kick in. Yeah. It's gonna last a couple weeks. That's a lot of opportunities, right? Yeah. So one simple one I thought was great that I, I located on the internet is baking. Mm -hmm. Baking with mom or with grandma and all the math that's associated with baking. You take mm -hmm. any recipe, it's always, a cup and a half of this, three quarters of a cup of that. Yeah. And sometimes you have to do what? Double the batch. Yeah. Or maybe you need to cut it in half. So mm -hmm. there's all sorts of arithmetic that's yeah. involved in baking. Plus, you could throw in a little chemistry, too. Yeah. Uh, what You have no-bake cookies, and then you have chocolate chip cookies that come mm -hmm. out of the oven. So what's the, the impact of heat, and yeah. how does heat impact the dough and all the ingredients? Mm -hmm. So I thought that was a great suggestion that I found on the web. Another one is community service. And yeah. This is for students of all ages, probably particularly middle and high school students. Yeah. For example, in my community, we have a canned food drive underway. We're going to collect these cans and we're going to distribute those mm -hmm. to people in, in the holiday season. So that whole community service piece is linked to really, really outstanding mm -hmm. academic results. Yeah. In other words, those students who are engaged in community service have higher grades, better attendance, and better uh, career development yeah. for the future. So community service. Holidays, great activity. Mm -hmm. The third one, many of us are going to be in cars. Short trips are long, and that's another opportunity for more mathematics. I was a math teacher, yeah. so the old <laughs> distance formula, right? Oh, distance yeah. equals rate times time. So if the rate of speed goes up, we've all noticed the improvement in the uh, 75 mile an hour speed limit. How does yeah. that impact the travel time for yeah. a certain distance? All those arithmetic opportunities are great for in the car experience, mm -hmm. and then for the advanced activity, compute the mileage. Oh, what kind yeah. of mileage are you getting on the open road? And how does that compare to what the instrumentation is reporting out? So the bottom line is the holiday season is a time for family, but it's yeah. also an opportunity for learning and for engagement. Yeah, awesome. Such simple things that maybe yeah. we think about but wouldn't normally think about with education. Yes. So really great to hear a lot of those I really urge easy people to check the internet out. That's yeah. just the tip of the iceberg for a long, yeah. long list of yeah. opportunities. So many information on the internet. Thank you so much for joining us mm -hmm. and kind of refreshing our memories again with some of those tips, Dr. Douglas. Uh, and thank you for watching this edition of Education Matters.